guys this is the fourth time i am trying to record this video so let's hope fingers crossed that this will be the last time i'm recording this video today fourth time from start to finish guys i can't even explain well yeah <music> So guys, I'll be trying a new hairstyle, something that will let my natural hair breathe and I can rest from weeks for a minute. I just loosen my natural hair and I'm off for my appointment. So I'll see you guys with a new look. So guys, here is the hairstyle. I just wanted to try something new and different. It's been a while. I actually tried something new. So yeah, I really, really, really love the hairstyle. My hairstylist always gives me the best. Like she always does justice to my hair, my braids, all my braids, my cornrows. She takes care of me in that aspect and she's really, really good. Her services are really good and this is an evidence, right? <laughs> So guys, this is a cornrows that I'm talking about and she's actually the first person to braid me and I would say this point in my life is the longest my hair has ever been. Longest ever. That I couldn't even believe it. Yeah guys, so <laughs> she's that good. Give her a try and you won't regret it. If you're in North Cyprus and you're interested in her number on her contact, I'm just going to leave it on the screen. You can call her, the number is reachable on WhatsApp, whichever. She's very affordable and also guys, she sews as well. So in case you want to customize anything, you can hit her up. She's the right person. I've used her services and they are tested approved and trusted so yeah give her a try and you can let her know you're from victoria who knows you might get a discount <laughs> i'm sorry guys it's the hair it's the hair i really am really really loving the hair so yeah anyways in addition to revealing my hairstyle even though everyone already saw it on the thumbnail but whatever <laughs> in addition to that i'm just going to be sharing some fun facts about me Let's get into some of the facts or fun facts about Victoria. <laughs> first things first, I am a very serious person. Regardless of how much I laugh and how playful I am, I am actually a very serious person. I don't know how to explain it, but let's just leave it at I am a very serious person. <laughs> I love Coke so much. Coke the drink, cola. I love Coke so much. There was a time I was addicted to Coke. There was this summer, I think five or six years ago, and I intentionally told myself that evening that I wasn't going to go restock up my coke. I was just going to wait it out till the following day because I could already sense that I was getting addicted to the coke. Anyways, I was watching whatever I was watching, or I can't even remember what I was doing, but I just could not concentrate, guys. My mind could not just stay put. And the shop close to my house closes at 1 a.m. I will never forget this day. At after 12 a.m., around 12.13 or 12.15 a.m., I left my house to go buy coke. Just to go get coke, guys. I went to get the coke. I got back home. Even before I could change, keep um, the remaining of the coke in the fridge, I just poured myself a glass. I took it and it was like... <sighs> <laughs> I came back to life, guys. I love Coke so much, and I'm someone who doesn't love sweet things, chocolate, anything sweet counts me out. So, I guess maybe Coke is just the um, place I get sweetness from or sugar from. And please don't tell me about the sugar quantity in Coke. I'm aware, <laughs> just leave me. I love my Coke so much, and I have this dream or this goal. To get Coke to sign me as an ambassador because I love Coke so much, you know. It's going to be an easy marketing because it's something I am so passionate about. If I should describe the feeling of Coke to you guys, I love Coke so much. I can describe what Coke does on your tongue so passionately, guys. I love Coke so much. I love cola. And yeah, if I get um, a brand deal with cola, it means I get an unlimited supply of cola, isn't it? <laughs> and that's what I'm looking for. I really, really love Coke, guys. I really love Coke. I'm a very organized person. I love to be organized. I love to have a routine. 
and I consider myself a very disciplined person. I mentioned this three together because they are all interconnected, you know. The routine helps me um, be organized and it also helps me to stay disciplined. I, I really love discipline so much, you know. Imagine guys, I would have... I consider myself to be a disciplined person. Another fact or fun fact about me is I don't do well in cold. I don't do well in the winter. I don't, I just cannot. Winter kills me. I have what they call cold feet. I cannot go through winter without wearing socks. I can even if it's for five minutes, I just cannot leave my legs just like that because once my leg gets cold, my my full system, it's, it's as if it comes to a shutdown. Till my leg warms up, I will not be able to feel 100%. It is that bad. I don't just know, I dislike, I dislike winter so, so much. Another fact about me is, I love my space to be extremely clean. Not clean, not moderately clean, extremely clean. My mom thinks I have a problem, but... <laughs> I just love my place to be extremely clean. I thrive in cleanliness, you know. Everything should be clean, you know. From the top of your hair to the sole of your feet, your phone, your nails, your surround, everything should just be clean. It's, it's, it's a nice thing, you know. You get to breathe in fresh air, just is I just love extremely clean spaces. In as much as I thrive in extremely clean places, I thrive in silence as well. I really, 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 really love and value silence. It just gives that um, serene environment for you to be able to think well, for you to be able to reflect well, to just, you know, have some peace of mind, that sanity. I really, really value peace and quiet. Another fun fact would be I attended two of each schools. Every level I went to, I attended two schools. Two primary schools, two high schools, two colleges. I don't know what. It was never planned. It just happened that every school I attended, I attended two, two schools to finish each. If, if it was um, secondary school, primary school, it doesn't matter. I attended two, two of each. And then... I don't know if I'll say it from fact, but I am the only girl of my parents or the only girl of my family. So yeah, I am an introvert, guys. I am such an introvert. I enjoy my company so, so much. I am someone that I can stay at home for four months without even going outside. If I have my way, I wouldn't even step outside. I'll just be in my house. And when I'm home, I'm happy. I feel contented. I feel just, you know, I'm just happy to be in my space. I enjoy my company so much that even let's say I spend four months alone indoors. By the time I go out, after a certain while, the only thing that will be ringing in my head is I can't wait to go back to my safe space. I can't wait to, you know, I just, I just love, I'm a homebody, I guess. <laughs> I'm a homebody. I laugh a lot. I don't, I don't, I, I, at this point, I've just succumbed to the idea that it's just genetics. I don't know if that is a possibility, but that is the only excuse I've been able to tell myself because I just laugh a lot. I don't know if you guys must have noticed from the videos, but during editing, I even tend to cut out so much of the laughs because sometimes like now i'm talking it's not funny but i just find myself laughing i don't know why growing up my brothers and i used to always make jest of my mom that she laughs so much you can be in a place with my mom and a joke will be said and my mom will just keep laughing and laughing and after a while i just look at her and ask is this the same thing that you're still laughing at she's always laughing and then me having to um laugh so much started i think two or three years ago Honestly, guys, two or three years ago, I just found myself laughing in every situation, laughing at even the most insignificant thing. I just laugh. I don't know why. I just laugh. So I keep saying this because with time, if you guys see, I can talk one sentence, laugh two times, one sentence, laugh one. I don't know how to um, handle it or I don't know how to go about it. I just, I don't know. I just find myself to be like that. <laughs> I enjoy sleep, or rather, I would say I love sleep. I love sleep so much, guys. One fun fact about me is I struggle 
to sleep on time i cannot sleep when human beings are sleeping i have tried and tried and tried i will turn off my phone turn off the light silence get under the duvet guys two hours i will still not be able to sleep i don't know what to do i have tried and tried and tried and i am not someone who loves drugs so i can't even take sleeping pill i'm not a fan of it so i just i sleep at an ungodly hour and then i wake up at an ungodly hour <laughs> I don't have balance in that aspect of my life ever since I don't just know but I love sleep so so much another fun fact would be I am a fast reader and fast typer I can type very very fast and I can read very very fast that you can show me let's say a meme or a quote and I'm, after a few minutes I'm like oh, oh yeah yeah or um seconds and I said, oh yeah, and people are like, did you read it? Are you sure you read it? So yeah, I just tend to be a fast reader and typer. I don't know why, but it just, it's just that way. Guys, this, if I did not say anything, this is what's even supposed to be at the top of my list. I find it difficult to recharge my phone. I find it difficult to recharge my cell line. I don't just know what the problem is. I could have $1 million today and I'm still not credit my line i don't know why i could go to the supermarket three times a day and i will not remember to get credit i don't just know why i will stay for months let's say okay normally how it started how that circle started is i'll stay for months my airtime will be finished up until months later my service provider blocks me and then i'll start talking to myself talking to myself if i try maybe three weeks or one month after then I will force myself to go to the market, recharge my line. Whenever it finishes, till they block me again, they've, I'm sure whoever is in charge of my line or the system, I'm sure they wonder what planet I am from. <laughs> I know sometimes they wonder if I'm dead or something, because it's possible for me to stay nine months, six months, I have not recharged my phone and my number will be blocked. Anyways, I don't talk to people, so maybe that's why I don't just know, but that is a huge problem that I don't know how to fix. Another fun fact is I really, 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 really love burger, pasta, noodles, and Nigerian fried yam. You see these four meals, I don't joke with them. No matter how sick I am, no matter where I am, no matter what point I am in life, just give me any of this and I'm all yours. I love burger so much. I love pasta so much. I love noodles. Oh, I would say I'm addicted to noodles actually. And I love fried yam, specifically fried, not, bur not porridge. <laughs> fried yam, I love fried yam so much. So, 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 so much. And then I love um, fried eggs, plain fried eggs, where you have just the salt and the maggi. I love eating plain fried eggs or sunny side up. Well fried dough, sunny side or plain eggs and then I love eating boiled eggs as well. It's been a while since I had it. I'm talking about it now. Maybe I should eat that this night. I love to eat boiled egg. I, I love to eat it when it's still somewhat hot with a sprinkle of salt, guys. Give it a try. It's ah it hits the spot. <laughs> Just give it a try. You might like it, or of course it's egg. Who doesn't know egg or who doesn't eat egg with salt? So yeah. I love to eat those two things on its own, on its own with nothing, no bread, nothing. I just love to enjoy it on its own. I am someone that loves to watch something when eating or while eating. I just cannot eat without watching anything. It could even be as little as a TikTok video or a YouTube video. Something just has to be playing in the background. For me to get my attention, for me to be watching and to enjoy my food, it just has to go hand in hand. I cannot eat without watching anything. Except, of course, I'm out maybe for dinner, lunch or something. That's different. But when I'm home, I need to watch something while eating. And let's say, should maybe things happen out of order, I happen to you know prepare my food and i don't have something to watch i won't be able to eat until i've been able to look for something to watch so yeah and i think i've mentioned this before that i am someone who loves hot food when i bring out my food from my grave like it just has to be so so hot i love hot food so much i am a shy person a very shy person <laughs> 
I don't know why I'm a shy person and I don't know when it started because growing up I wasn't a shy person. Fun fact, at a point in my life I thought I was going to be a newscaster and I used to cast news in front of assemblies, represent my school in front of other schools, um, at the end of school sessions, in the presence of parents, teachers, students. I used to, and at primary one, when I was in primary one, I was already a senior reporter. So for the longest time, I thought I was going to be a newscaster, but here we are. I'm still doing YouTube, so I'm still on camera so i guess a win is a win isn't it <laughs> and when i used to cast news i wasn't shy so i don't know when i said being shy so yeah i'm a shy person i'm an introverted person i am such an introvert i just love being to myself if you guys leave me on this planet i could just go missing you guys will not even know anything about me you guys just get to see me online you just get to see me on your screens i just love that life i just love that life to be on my own and just far away from everything you know life is just easier that way you know and then i'm sorry i keep looking down <laughs> it's not that i don't know myself it's just that i can't remember everything at once and initially this video was supposed to be aside um trying out a new hairstyle it was supposed to be 50 facts about me but I told myself I won't be able to come up with 50 facts about me. I don't think I can come up with 50 facts about me considering the fact that I already did a get to know me video. So in order to not limit myself, I just decided to just, you know, turn it to a fun fact video and just come up with whatever it is I could come up with. So pardon me looking down on my phone. I've said this and I'll keep saying it for future purposes. I am very bad with faces and names. I just... I don't know how to fix that issue. But it's when it comes to faces and names, I am the wrongest person. I just, I just cannot do it, guys. There was even a time when I was doing my undergrad and I had this friend, we were just getting to know each other and each time I needed to ask her something or talk to her, I'll go to her and be like, um, I'm sorry, please, what's your name? I did that, I think, more than three times. And there was this day when I asked her, she told me, she said, this is the last time i will tell you my name if you don't know my name then don't come to me or don't ask me anything and i felt so embarrassed that day so i went back to my seat and i just kept repeating her name repeating her name so it gets stuck in, <laughs> in my brain i don't know guys i just have that problem names and faces i could sit down with you today talk laugh just have fun tomorrow i will pass you and you think maybe I don't like you or we have a beef. It's not that. I don't just remember your face, you know. Especially that name. In fact, I don't even know which, which one is worse. But I just have a problem with both. And then another fun fact is I come from the northern parts of Nigeria. People tend to tell me that I don't look like a northerner. I don't know what they see. But yeah, I'm from the northern parts of Nigeria. I am obsessed with fashion and I've said this already and then I am someone who complains about insignificant things. The most mind-blowing thing can happen in my life or can be happening, my lips will be sealed. Well, my ring, one of these rings can fall off while I'm talking and I'll just keep complaining, complaining. I can spend two minutes complaining about why the ring felt so insignificant. I complain about insignificant things. I'm trying to walk on a door and then I can survive on just Nigerian noodles, honestly. I can have it as my three square meals daily and I won't get tired of it. And I'm someone who doesn't make my noodles with vegetables or garnish it in any way. The way it is, I just make it plain with my one boiled egg and maybe sometimes I can add um, pepper for spice and that's it. That's how I love my noodles. I love, it has to be Nigerian noodles by the way. I love Nigerian noodles so much. I can survive on just nigerian noodles honestly i love it and then okay for this one yes this is definitely a fun fact i know how to move my ears i don't know if any one of you watching it can i have people question me or ask me if i lock my teeth or close my mouth so that's why i'm doing it while talking <laughs> i'm just showing over at this point but yeah i know how to move my ear i know how to move my elbow and which other part yeah i know how to do that then i am someone who loves mukbangs i love to watch mukbangs so much there are so many mukbangers i've been following for seven six years 
SARS ASMR is the top of my list, number one. I'll see the very first week she started YouTube. I followed her when, I can't remember the number of subscribers then, but she just started YouTube. That was when I said following her and I've been with her till date as I'm talking to you. I might even watch one of her videos before I go to bed. I just love mukbangs so much and she satisfies that, um, that sensation or that i don't know what to call it a few people that have been around me cannot understand why i watch it why i watch people eat well i guess everyone is different i really love mukbangs and sas asmr i have watched every single of her video with no skip at all another fun fact about me is i love tattoos so much i am a tattoo girl tattoo over piercing anytime any day i love tattoos so much and I know for you guys on youtube if you're not following me on instagram for those that are from my instagram a lot of you must have seen a significant amount of my tattoos and for those of you that are on youtube maybe one day i get to show you guys every of my tattoo i'm a tattoo girl i love tattoos so much that if i don't hold myself i'll get so many tattoos but of course it's not going to be any other tattoo so don't worry for me <laughs> and then last but not the least I love the good life. I love money. Who doesn't, right? I love the good life. I love money so much. I just love soft life. That has been my inspiration for getting this particular tattoo. I don't know if you guys can see it. It says soft life. I love ease. I love life, you know. I just love it. And when I was thinking about making this video, I said to myself to try and go back in time to see where I said picking that interest, you know. And it so happened to be that the first thought or at least that i can remember was from my primary school or something that happened i remember was from my primary school and it's just so mind-blowing to see how long i've been holding on to this dream even before i could make sense of what the world is like or understand the world i've been holding on to this dream and that's why we have to see to the end in it <laughs> but yeah i love the good life i love life i love to live life I, or I'll say I know how to live life or I know how to spend money. I guess maybe that's why money doesn't come to me <laughs> Because I know how to use it so much. So yeah guys These are just a few fun facts. I don't know if I'll call it fun facts or just facts whichever These are just a few facts or fun facts about me And Yeah, I guess with time we'll keep getting to know more and more about myself well, before we go, let's get into our quote for this week. So, our quote for this week says, Everyone who started something had no clue how to do it at the beginning, but they figured it out by making mistakes. Make your number one trait your figuratability, and that is so important, guys. All the A stars we see today, they can tell you that there was no certainty, you know, no assurance that their dream will. Um, play out the way it did or it did so don't let anything discourage you guys just try to make yourself solution oriented you know just keep going and never be scared to make mistakes i'm a believer of it's either it works or it doesn't work there's no shame in either if it works perfect if it doesn't on to the next thing so yeah let's let's keep the spirit high <laughs> ah yeah i don't know why i'm super happy or excited to be <laughs> I guess it's the hair. I, I really, I really, really love the hair so much. And don't forget to give her a call or send her a message. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>